Hey Star Wars fans and Black Series action figure collectors, we've got Magistrate Grief Karga this time. Um, really glad they put this one out, um, despite the first version of Grief being very much a peg warmer, unfortunately, because it was a cool figure, but um, so I'm glad they sort of still went ahead and did Grief Karga from Season 2. Um, yeah, hopefully they're still going to do a Season 1 version of Grief in... The vintage collection but we'll see we'll see i think the vintage collection version of this was a really good figure um so yeah really really thrilled to have him in the six inch scale we have him there mr carl weathers magistrate grief cargo once an expediter for the bounty hunters guild grief cargo ran the trade on navarro now magistrate of navarro grief is cleaning up that rough and tumble world he is number 24 in the Mandalorian run. So looking pretty good. I think he looks I think he looks nicer than the season one version, obviously. But uh looking forward to seeing what role he takes up in season three, given that the brief shot we see him in the trailer seems him wearing much more extravagant clothing. So um we'll see what happens there. But let's crack this open and have a look at grief. All right, here is Grief Cargo out of the packaging. Accessory-wise, he comes with his blaster pistol. Get to focus there. Looks quite nice. I think this. I think this differs from his season one versions. But uh, yeah, he's a very, very majestic, regal-looking man. I like that he sort of grew out the uh, grew out the beard a little bit more for season two. Do like the outfit. He's a little bit tricky to stand, uh, just because of the weight of this. It's a little, little bit awkward. Um, there's a way to take that off quite easily, I'm sure. I won't do it on video, but I'll, I'll have a go at that afterwards. So you've got this sort of outfit underneath. Got his holster there, which I assume will hold this pretty nicely. It looks like it will. I'm not going to put it in there because I want to have him armed. Now we have this sort of weird collar piece here, the little chain that's linking the the robe across the shoulders. And as, as you sort of flex it out, it will sit as a sit flat. But um, yeah, if you want that sort of closed off, yeah, I don't know, don't know what I'm going to do about that because it's. You know, it's meant to made made to sort of go out. So when you get him in some more sort of action orientated poses, I suppose it means it's going to sit flat. But um, yeah, I don't know. I might have to might have to look into doing something a little bit about that because I think he's not going to be a super duper action action figure. You know what I mean? But overall, I love the colours on the figure. It's really, you know, the the dark reds, the browns. Sort of the nice sort of brighter mustardy, mustardy brown, I guess, in the middle there. Nice earthy colours. Really brings brings out this character, I think, as someone who's on a very sort of earthy, earthy planet, I guess. But I think the likeness is really, really nice. Look at the uh, paint apps on the beard there. Some weird sort of white dots that, you know, it's not, you can only see that because I'm zoomed right up on it. But looking at the figure in hand, you know, it just looks like good shading. close-ups of his face the hairline's painted on pretty well a little bit tidier behind the ear on that side but you know if I was really finicky I'd get a little black marker and just touch that up but I'm not too fussy a little bit of run over the headline there but it doesn't matter much to me
looks to have all the uh, all the articulation. I like the I like the sculpting on the trousers there. These boots, in very very sort of regal regal jacket. Very nice, very nice figure indeed. I'm glad to have this one in the collection, adding to the, uh, the depths of the Mandalorian series. And uh, yeah, by the time I get my collection all back together again, that's going to be a, a pretty full shelf for the Mandalorian. Um, we've definitely added a bunch of figures over the last sort of 12 months. Um, yeah, I sort of did pack up my collection back in January, February, so... Since then, you know, November now, we've we've had quite a few additions to the line, so really looking forward to being able to set them up again at some point. Oh, I like the way they've sculpted this. That didn't even occur to me. Only the bottom of the bottom of the robe sort of just sort of hangs together, but has the holster just so you can sort of see the blaster in there. That's really cool. I like that a lot. So there we have Grief Cargo from Season 2 of The Mandalorian. Great likeness there of uh, Mr. Carl Weathers. What an absolute legend. Can't wait to see more of him in Season 3. Got another figure coming up. Uh, probably up tomorrow. Um, you know, I like dropping my videos one day at a time. So looking forward to cracking open the next one. So stay tuned for Migs Mayfeld coming right up here on my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate your time. It really means a lot. And we'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you always.